Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Heavy Rain on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, an absolute ton of stuff happened in a previous video, so I'll try and go through things as quickly as possible. First things first, we were controlling Shelby, and we was at Manfred's Antique Store, and we were trying to find out what kind of typewriter was used to create the letter that was sent to Lauren that was addressed to her husband that was most likely from the origami killer. We were told what typewriter it was, but when Manfred went to the back of the store to get a list of people that have purchased one of those typewriters, he was killed and the police were phoned. So we then started panicking and we had to wipe our prints off of everything so that they didn't suspect it was us that killed Manfred and we left the area. Then there was an argument between Lauren and Shelby because Shelby didn't want Lauren to be part of the investigation anymore because it was too unsafe. She nearly got me totaled in the car and nearly murdered me, but the whole situation was calmed down and I guess we've agreed to now work together. Uh, we then switched back over to Ethan and Ethan was doing his fourth origami trial where he had to murder that guy. The guy had tried to shoot me with a shotgun. There was a big chase scene. Eventually I got I beat him because he ran out of ammo and we had the option to shoot him but he was a father with two daughters. Now unfortunately I didn't shoot him. I should have because he tried to shoot me but I didn't because he got two daughters and he was literally in their bedroom. I didn't want to kill their dad in their bedroom. So I didn't kill him so I don't know if that's going to be detrimental to Sean's safety. Um, then we switched over to Madison who was trying to investigate who owned that apartment that I had to cut my finger off at, Ethan. And... Um, when we arrived, there's some creepy doctor there that sells people prescriptions. And he basically tried to, I'm, I'm going to straight up say, he probably tried to rape uh, Madison. And um, yeah, it was a, a big, big scene of me trying to get her out of the ropes whilst he was distracted. And then eventually we uh, managed to um, kill him by stabbing him with a drill. But yeah, he was some sort of freak. He was going like, to operate on me, do all sorts of horrible fucking scumbag shit, you know. And uh, then we switched over to... Who was it next? Oh, Harrison. Harrison, the FBI agent. I think his name's Harrison. And uh, we was investigating a uh, junkyard where a bunch of cars were being scrapped, trying to find if that Chevrolet had been there or purchased from there or taken there. We questioned a guy called Jack, and he basically told me that some dude had uh, asked for a brand new car and stuff like that with new plates and something about a place called the Blue Lagoon. And I think also, um, what's her face? She also wanted something at the Blue Lagoon as well. Um, What's her name? What's that girl's name? Madison. She also found a little ticket that was sunk about the Blue Lagoon. So I guess both of those are going to go to the Blue Lagoon at some point. We're now back with Shelby. Lauren's having a shower because she's wet and cold. And we're going to make her some scramble eggs. Yeah, sorry for that massive intro. That was like a three minute intro. I don't normally make intros that long. But yeah, there was a lot to uh, talk about. So yeah, let's get straight into things. As always, there's chapters in the comments below anyway. Do you keep your eggs in the fridge? You don't really need to. Oh, he's got conveniently two eggs left. <laughs> You go get yourself some salt and pepper as well, mate. Now you can cook scrambled eggs in the microwave, but I don't recommend you do it. You want to do it on the hob. Yeah, do not do it. In the, you can do it in the microwave, but don't do it. Do we have salt and pepper anywhere? I'm just trying to watch the consistency. They don't look like they're changing into scrambled eggs. Eggs should be ready by now. We definitely got to chop them up a little bit. You've basically made her an omelette. That's not scrambled eggs really, is it? That's a fucking omelette. No salt and pepper on it either, you cheeky devil. No toast. What's that going to do? I mean, she gets a bit of protein, but what's that going to do? How about any, any ketchup or anything to put on it? 
I mean, I hate ketchup, but for me, it's HP sauce all the way, but you know. Oh, fuck me, you scared me! <laughs> Looks better on you. I'll put your soggy body, body in my hey, flipping dressing gown. to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. <laughs> I bet you eat your fucking food. I slaved away over the stove for a whole, like, one minute. Honestly, scrambled eggs is so quick to make, and it's so good for you. Start eating scrambled eggs. Even if you don't like eggs, you force it down your throat, okay? It's good for you. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. Oh, I don't want to help you. Isn't it only like 30 names to go through? It should it should it take this long? <laughs> the only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you going to do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Okay, John Shepard. You never give up, do you? I mean, a lot of the things that she's saying does make sense. We're dealing with a very smart serial killer. He doesn't even actually do anything to people where he could be found out. He literally locks them in a drain and then lets the rainwater slowly kill them. He's a genius, really. It's never nice walking around a graveyard, is it? Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh, well, don't worry about it. I can manage the loan. She, she didn't. She didn't say anything. <laughs> she never said Excuse a thing. Me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Helen Lopez. The next plot. I don't even know where Lauren's gone. Where did you go, Lauren? Daryl Allen? Or is that Rob Morris? Rose Stewart? So is this the next plot? Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in a cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. All right, come on, there's people over here grieving. What's the matter with you, Lauren? Have some damn respect. Fucking hell. Is that it? Have you given up? Well, where are you, Lauren? Around, if you don't mind. Thought I found a new partner. Not another lieutenant. <laughs> Where's she standing then? I was trying to go up. If she shouts at me again, again now. Where is she? Relax. 
relax, I'm coming. Will you shut up, Cher? Fuck me. Oh, there she is. I've completely forgot the name of the boy now, thanks to her. Something Shepherd, wasn't it? Irish plot. Oh. Oh, there we go. Children's plot. Okay. So he was already in the right area. Sherry Coleman, I think that said. Something Williams. That's. I found it. Damn it! She beat me. Oops. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. God, beat it. You lousy, no good brats. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Oh, I love I've got to control ya. <laughs> I won't catch ya. I guarantee you're gonna slip over. I've got ya. Oh, okay. I thought we, I thought we were trying to... Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I bet you can't catch me. Proceeds to immediately stop. Plus, like the last of us. I didn't really need a boost, to be honest. I could have yanked myself up there. Nah, stay down there. Watch out, look at this. Imagine falling on that. Whew. Are we at some sort of construction site then? Why does this have to be a quick time event? There's no need. There's no need. <laughs> oh. Move your ass, I'm waiting. He doesn't want to do it. Shut up, I'm scared. What's he doing? Fucking go! <laughs> what you doing? You're coming or not? I try to do it quickly, I try to do it slowly and giggly. I'm gonna be the reason that this kid died, ain't I? <laughs> Some weird man in the past was controlling this poor boy in a video game and he was really bad at it, so he died. You can't do that. <laughs> Probably not. 
Not when it tells me to do a bunch of weird button combinations that no one ever does. Move your ass, I'm waiting. Move your ass, I'm waiting. Yeehaw! I'm from America. I think you're fine, I'm a slow bro. Come on, loser. <laughs> Fucking push him. What you doing? You're coming or not? Oh my god, shut up! Oh no. Oh, I'm fucking dead. The amount of times I did things like this when I was a kid, not in a construction site, but just stuff similar to this, where I possibly could have died. The <laughs> amount of stupid shit we do when we're kids, especially us blokes. Music's so epic. All we're doing is walking around a construction site. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Bruce Willis, what are you doing here? You don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. Oh, not with weird combinations like that. John, wait for me! I wish I had died at the same time. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 shit. I'm steady, I'm steady, I'm steady, I'm steady. Good job these controls have still got the motion detecting technology and thumbs up is screwed. But I guess the game wouldn't be playable if it wasn't. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Fuck, I thought he was just gonna walk then. What? I'm doing it! Oh, he wants me to hold it, okay. Go on then. Don't like the sound of that, it's time for the jump of death. Ta -da! Did you jump on a pile of shit? Is it a pile of cement? Go on, buddy. I bet there was a trophy for counting all the way to 20. That's the kind of shit they give you a trophy for in these games. Oh shit, we're well done! My foot. My foot is. 
is stuck. Grandpa, I'll put it over there. Come on, buddy. He had never did find any help. And his brother drowned in that pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Oh man, it's already been stolen. Wonder if the Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. Guess it's a possibility, ain't it? That's what happens to a lot of people. They experience some horrible shit when they're kids and then they grow up to be like horrible serial killers because they're just messed up mentally. There's a few serial killers, if you research them, that have like horrible childhoods, I mean like horrific, and they've grown up to be like people like Ted Bundy, not him, I, I don't think he had a bad childhood, but people like that, they grow up to be horrific people. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. I was very suspicious of George Clooney, but still. <laughs> the chef is out for making scrambled eggs. I don't like playing as you, Madison. Something always bad happens with you. Ah, oh, this is where, uh. Harrison, where his name is. Oh shit, we're on 4.2 inches now. That was a big jump. Oh, man, it's like Saifu. Oh, great pole dancers. He's the guy who rented the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. I better be careful. He might be the killer. Man, you're looking fabulous, Madison. Damn, girl, give us a little twirl. Woo! Yeah, girl! Man, you're looking good in red. Right, who are we looking for? Someone called Pal or something. Pascal or something. I didn't see the name. Oh, man, look at these people that are dancing. They're fucking going for it. You definitely ain't just been drinking. You've definitely had a few other things. Who the fuck is that guy? I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm gorgeous. Come on. Look at me. I mean, my hair's a little short, but still. Sorry, lady. Invited guests only. But look at me. I should be invited. I'm fabulous. Look at our walk, man. Look at the sass. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. She side. Would you want me to dance? Paco seems to like 
Jesus grow sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. Don't want to get up on it. What do you want? What do you want me to do? Well, how do I dance? Do I need to get up on the pole dancing stage? Every time I end up at some sort of party, I might lose a few. Probably because I don't go to parties in real life, you know, so it's not me. Strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I gotta find some place to change. Oh. Oh, you went. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. Madison, we've already seen your bangers, love. We don't. We don't. Oh, no. Gonna get bloody age restricted. Where's the toilets then? Look how she walks, man. Such sass. She's doing it, it's like she constantly is doing a catwalk. I hope this is the right one. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, there's no toilets around here. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff nearby. Oh, here they are. The sexy girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, I kind of preferred it before. Now it's very uneven now. Make that hair messy. Yeah, you are a very unkept girl, ain't you? Oh, lovely. I do love this game. Ah, you don't need no makeup, girl. You don't need no makeup. Oh, man. I feel sorry for women putting makeup on every day. Honestly, ladies. Don't wear makeup, you don't need to. It's not worth this kind of traumatic experience. It's not worth it. I kind of preferred you before, to be honest. Oh, bit of an additional lippy. After what you just went through with that weird doctor guy, I'm kind of surprised that you'd want to do something like this. I've got to be honest with you, Madison. This seems like a very idea. It seems like it's one of those things that could, it could possibly put you in the same situation again. All right, do I go and dance on the on the little platform now? This bloody this is techno music, but I'll be copyrighted. Apologies if the music is loud in this game when I'm making my videos. Sometimes some sections of this game are stupidly loud. The audio levels in this game are pretty. Uh, Pretty uh, annoying. Go on, girl. Let's see what you got. Oh, oh man! If I press it wrong, she's gonna dance like a twat. I kind of want to. I want to mess up, man. And what do you think? I'm much better than the girl in black. That's for sure. And if I bend over, I'm sure as hell gonna give you a little peek. Oh man, he's loving it. Oh shit. Oh yeah, you got a little peek then. I look at the sway in them hips. We figure this, man. We figure this, Pacquiao. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of it, I'm done with you. Hey you! Who? Me? You wanna speak to little old me? It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Oh, so lucky. Didn't even check my bag. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Baco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah. Man, I like the way you move, Madison. You make me all hot under the collar. Well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> Oh no, don't walk off, mate. I'll get lost in the crowd. Just look for the zebra and we'll find him. Fuck me, man. He's in a hurry. I, don't, I mean, I don't blame him. Madison is a very beautiful girl, but fuck me, man. Slow down. Where are you going? Paco, wait. Now, if you have to do all that shit to get a man's attention, then that man's not a good man for you. I'm honestly, honestly, ladies, you know. Yeah, yeah, very good I idea. In, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. Everything it's not going to be all right. Every time we've done something with you, you've ended up in a situation where I've got to press 10,000 quick time events or you most likely will die. Because you can die in this game. You can lose characters so, for good. Welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> yeah, better not be copyrighted. I'll take that. Just get in the way of the good things, sweet cheese. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off, baby. Uh, uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Mama. Let's get it wet. <laughs> Do your thing, girl. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Uh, we don't need any more talking. Baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. You. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look. Uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. Uh oh. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. And I never take never for an answer. For him, go for the throat. <laughs> Good idea. No, he's just too tough. I wouldn't stand a chance. No, pretend to give him a blow job and bite off his dick. You better be wearing a bra. I don't think she is, though. It might be a low cut bra, one of those low bras. Oh, thank God. I could call for help. Oh, that's stupid. With this music, who's gonna hear me? The lamp. 
If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know. Damn, girl. <laughs> Sassy little wink. Yeah, yeah, bend over. I see it. Bend over, grab the lamp. Oh, yes! Get a gun, get a gun, get a gun. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. <laughs> Where did you find a sellotype? Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. <laughs> that was such a slap, little slap. Fucking do it again. And again, and again. Fucking it here. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything alright? <laughs> oh, he's loving that, isn't he? Oh, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, Madison, I'm going to fill this. Oh! oh what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never saw foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ah, ah. Man, my fingers are all messed up. Look how I'm uh, bloody doing this. Shepard. His name is John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciate this romantic moment. But I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Can we shoot him anyway? He's just going to do this to another lady. I love, I love the sassy walk though. <laughs> and him being tied to a chair, I mean, that makes complete sense. Nobody's going to be suspicious of, of that. He's got a massive headache. And he's got a massive ball ache. Yeah, everybody's sort of slowly coming together, isn't they? Wasn't the, uh, wasn't, uh, the FBI agent trying to come here as well? Before he uh, ended up having one of these weird moments where he needed some blue cocaine. If I ever do a boxing match, one of those YouTube boxing matches, I might make something like this my uh, my entrance music. Just get the crowd going fucking wild. I'm not really a fan of this music. I'm a, I'm a rap guy, but this would be good for the crowd, I reckon. They'd be on my team, even if I'm fighting someone they like, just because of the music. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, we ain't going to have much time to do much with you, mate. Yeah, I've got to end the video now, actually. You're too late! <laughs> I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. All right. Well, I'm going to have to take the stairs next time. Oh, it's you. 
scurvy. I didn't hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you kept me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paid. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Now, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. no don't kill me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fucking origami is taking, he's taking out all of the loose ends. I know, I know I'm a massive cop tease right now, but I've got to end the video now. Otherwise, the render time is going to be ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm sorry for cock teasing you all. I made it a bit longer, though, to make up for the long intro. But, yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Warfare. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.